In this video we're going to have a look at how we can use LAS Face Expert for determining the percentage contribution of different components of an image. This is slightly different from the measurements that we were making in image analysis where we were measuring individual objects. On this occasion we're measuring multiple types of object in the field of view. What we're measuring is the overall contribution in the entire image. We're not measuring individual objects. So in this picture for example I want to know how much contribution I've got from the white mineral, the blue mineral and the yellow mineral. I've set up these three minerals. I've simplified this by calling them minerals A, B and C. I could have more minerals or I could have maybe just two minerals. 3 is quite a typical number to look, look to measure at the same time. The operation uses a processing sequence that is familiar from other LAS uh, analysis modules. And let's jump straight in to setting the thresholds for these three phases. I'll show you the first phase, how I set that one up, and then we'll jump to the, uh, the final result. So I'm going to start by, by identifying this yellow phase. So all I have to do is to draw a small box within the, within the yellow phase and this shows me a brighter yellow overlay. You can see I've not quite measured everything so I can click on the accumulate button and add in some other parts of the, the yellow until I've I've increased the overlay or I can come to the adjust threshold step and simply adjust the, uh, the, the thresholds here until I've correctly identified the yellow component. I can make a few more adjustments. Now I've set up the yellow mineral detection. Okay so now I've uh, jumped ahead uh, by identifying the uh, mineral B and mineral C and you can see in the image the three different colors representing the three minerals. I can instantly switch back to look at the original image and switch back to the overlaid image which shows the identification of the minerals. So having identified the minerals we can now make a measurement of those and you can see that um, I've created a pie chart showing the percentage contribution of the three different mineral types. This then can be exported to a report in Excel as we have done with previous measurement procedures. 